how to easily create a heart pattern swatch in Adobe Illustrator. So first we need to create a heart. To do this, we need to use the grid and the snap to grid feature. So go to view, go to show grid, then go to view again and click snap to grid. Then zoom into the grid, select the rectangle tool, hold down the shift key and draw a rectangle from one of these cross hairs right here and fill out one of these squares right here. Then select the ellipse tool and fill out another square. Then pick the selection tool and move this circle down so it goes halfway through the square. Then hold down the ALT key to duplicate the circle and place the duplication on the other side of the square. Then select all the shapes, go to the Pathfinder panel right here. If it isn't open, you can go to Window and find the Pathfinder panel right here. Then click this button right here that says Unite. And now we can disable the grid again. So go to View, go to Hide Grid, then go to View and click Snap to Grid. This will turn the feature off. So while having the heart selected, go to this anchor point right here, hold down the shift key and rotate the heart 45 degrees. And to make the bounding box horizontal and vertical again, go to Object, go to Transform and reset the bounding box. Then while having the heart selected, go to the top of the screen, make sure this link is turned on and make the heart 50 pixels wide. Now zoom into the heart, pick the selection tool again, select the stroke and make the stroke two points wide. Select the same color for the stroke as you want for the shadow of the heart. Then select the fill of the heart and make the base of the heart a lighter red color. So now we need to create the shadow and the highlight for the heart. And to do this, select the heart, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and click paste in front. Then once again, go to edit and click paste in front. This means we now have three hearts on top of each other. So with the top heart selected, move the heart five times to the right using the arrow keys. One, two, three, four, five. Then while still having this heart selected, Hold down the shift key and select the heart just underneath as well. Then pick the shape builder tool, hold down the alt key to get this minus sign next to the cursor and subtract all these excess shapes right here. Then pick the selection tool and while having this shadow shape selected, select the stroke and disable the stroke. Then select the fill and give this fill the shadow color which is also the color for the stroke. This way the shadow and the stroke blends into each other. So now we want to create the highlight. To do this, we want to select the ellipse tool. Then we want to find this anchor point right here. Then hold down the shift key and draw a circle that goes all the way to this anchor point right here. Then pick the direct selection tool, select this anchor point right here. Hold down the shift key and select this anchor point right here as well. Delete these anchor points. Then with the highlight selected, make it a stroke instead of a fill. Then make the stroke 3 points wide and go to the width profile and select this profile right here. Now select the stroke again and give the stroke a light red color. So here we have our first heart, but we need another heart in a lighter color scheme before we create the pattern swatch. Fortunately, we can just copy this heart and change the color scheme. So go to the selection tool, select the entire heart Hold down the ALT key to duplicate and while dragging also hold the SHIFT key. Then place a heart just next to the first heart, right here. And to repeat this step, click CTRL D. Then select the middle heart and delete this one. The reason we do it like this is to get an empty space between the hearts that is exactly the same size as a heart. So now simply give this heart a lighter color scheme. Now zoom out a little bit, pick the selection tool and select both hearts. And now we need to create the pattern swatch. So with the two hearts selected, go to object, go to pattern and go to make. Then click size tile to art. And here we can add some spacing between the objects. And because we made the heart 50 pixels wide, we know that this spacing is 50 pixels as well. Therefore to match this spacing between all the hearts, we can simply go to edge spacing Type in 50 pixels and do the same in the V spacing. And to make the colors alternate, we can go to the tile type and select brick by row. Then click done. So now we have our pattern swatch right here. So let's test it. 
And don't worry if you get these white lines right here, they will disappear when you export your artwork. Thank you for watching.